Welcome back to my course, Alex Louis here. Today we're going to talk about relational operators, which are very, very simple to learn and very a fundamental concept that you should be aware of as you're writing macros and as we get to a more advanced programming concepts. So let's take a look. Relational operators will only return one of two values. It's either going to give you a true or it's going to give you a false. And if you understand the concept in VBA, you will be able to apply this concept in other programming languages. Let's take a look. What I've done is I've declared a variable of Boolean type called result. And what I want to do is I want to say result is equal to, let's say, 3 is less than 2. So what that's, what that's going to do is it's actually going to do a comparison. It's going to say, is 3 less than 2? If you ask a question, is it less than 2? No, it's not. Then the answer is false, which means that if I write out the result, it's going to give me a false. I'm, I'm taking the result of here with the evaluation and using an assignment statement to my variable called result. It would be similar if I do less than or equal. So this would be asking the question, is 3 less than or equal to 2? Right. And the answer again is no. So you are also going to get a false. You can also do the same thing with the greater than sign and the greater than or equal. If I put the greater than sign, then this will return a true. Because we're asking the question, is 3 greater than greater than 2? Greater than or equal, same question. It will say greater than or equal to 2. In VBA, the equals 2 is identified by an equal. So this can be a little confusing because if I do this, it seems that you're trying to assign 2 to 3, which is not really the case. So what's happening is the compiler is going to interpret this as this expression being an equals 2. So it's going to ask the question, is 3 equal to 2? And the answer is no. So that's going to give you a false, it's going to generate a false and the result will be false. So if I go over here, then it's going to be false. Now, if I make this a 3, then this would be true. Because you're asking the question, is 3 equal to 3? And that is true. And if you want to compare two, two variables or values who to see if they're not equal, then you would you would do a less than and then a greater than so the this less than greater than represents a not equals to so what you're asking here is you're saying is 3 not equal to 3 and that's going to be false because it is equal 3 does equal 3 so if I do that it's going to be false now if I change this value to 1 then this would be true now this is called a, again, these are called relational operators. That's the terminology. They're called relational operators. When you have a relational expression, you're always going to have a left and a right operand. What that means is my left operand could be a constant value, such as 3, or it could be another variable. For example, if I say dim int value equals as integer and then int value equals 3 I can do that this is asking is int value not equal to 1 you have to evaluate this as the actual value of your variable so you're saying is the value of int value which is going to be 3 not equal to 1 and that's true if I run this it's going to be true. 
for relation, again, I repeat, for relational operators, you're going to have relation, relational expressions. You're going to have a left operand and a right operand. Okay, so next video, I'm going to discuss more on this and how this is going to help you with your Excel programming. Stay tuned. I will be back soon. Thanks.